And there are those showers moving in north of Nuego into Oceana as well as Muskegon County. Now Whitehall getting a really good downpour there. We have seen the heaviest of that rain start to fizzle out as it's moved into US 131 over Big Rapids, um, but we're continuing to see showers streaming off the lakeshore. You can see more extending out pretty much due uh, west of Whitehall, but those are going to end up in Oceana County. Not a lot due west of Grand Haven, but we go to the south and we got a pretty good line of showers here that are headed, uh, making a beeline up towards West Island of just north of the Holland area, but a lot of those showers will continue to start to develop more and eventually fill in here in West Michigan. It's a fo uh, video sent in this evening from Lisa in Walker and uh, a light show. There was an isolated thunder shower that popped up in north central Kent County that moved off to the northeast part. And there was a lot of lightning with that. And so if you were looking to the north and west, uh, east here this evening, you caught a pretty good view of that. And a nice plume of cloud that was part of that too. Again, just one isolated cell that moved into the Montcalm County area and then slipped out uh, fairly quickly. It only lasted about 45 minutes here in the area. But we'll continue to see those storms through daybreak. And on the backside of it, it'll just be some light showers. Those should end by about noon for pretty much everywhere. Uh, no severe weather, but it is heavy downpours, thunder and lightning with this system. And we'll see cooler air with it as well. Afternoon highs tomorrow at near 50 degrees, which is still 10 degrees above our normal high of 40, but it's also 20 degrees cooler than what we hit today, which was 70. As mentioned, no severe weather. We are still in just the general thunderstorm risk. They've already cut down in the marginal risk to the north and west. That is continuing to diminish in terms of its threat as well. So I take you to future track and now we're continuing to see model line up pretty clearly with Muskegon, Oceana County seeing the showers first and then by three o'clock it's starting to fill in everywhere else. But we're still seeing the heaviest rain and the most widespread along and north of I-96. Those showers continue to fill in even by 11 a.m. We still see some showers linger, but again, just around noon, one o'clock, we're dry and we'll eventually see the clouds start to diminish late Tuesday evening as well. Through the day on Wednesday, it's just high clouds, so we're still going to see some filtered sunshine and temperatures will start to warm back up. So this is temperatures, uh, low temps tonight through 7 a.m. Grand Rapids looking to get down to 44 degrees up near Hart and Big Rapids, back to the upper 30s. This is a pretty chilly rain as it does come with that cold front. So once that rain hits, temperatures will really take a step back. So we have the rain on Tuesday, a dry window Wednesday and Thursday, and then another system moves in for the weekend that may bring us the first snowflakes of March, which thankfully aren't looking like accumulating snow uh, here in West Michigan as it does look to mix with some rain, but nonetheless uh, getting colder here after this work week. Meanwhile, here's a look at the rainfall, what we can expect tonight. And again, still looking at over an inch of rain over maybe even over an inch and a half north of west of Grand Rapids as the Grand Rapids area looks to get about a half an inch and area south looks to get about a third.